So today what I'm going to show you is a really easy and delicious granola. And we've been doing this granola for years and years and my kids love it. So I'm going to walk you through the ingredients. You can add, change, do whatever you want with these ingredients, but these are what I use. And they look like a lot, but they're really not. So you're going to need oats and I will have all the measurements below in the description box. Oats, I've got flax meal, I've got some hemp seeds right here, we've got some chia seeds, a little bit of coconut flakes here, some vanilla, I've got, these are um, some kind of nib and I'll put the description below, um, like an oat nib, and here's some pepitas and some sliced almonds, quinoa, and some maple syrup and a little pinch of salt. So we're just gonna put everything in the bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mix these together before I add my maple syrup. Now, if you're going to add berries or uh, raisins, I would recommend adding them after you pull your item out of the oven because they will get really hard and chewy. So let me add my literally pinch of salt. There, mix it up. And now I'm gonna add the syrup. bit of vanilla. And that's it. And I'm just going to mix it really well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to a lined baking sheet and I've lined it with parchment paper and I'm just going to pour everything on it like this. a potato masher and I'm just going to spread it out and really smush it down till it's really thin and flat and if you don't have a potato masher I got this one at Goodwill um, you can use the back of your spoon I've done that for years and years so you want to make sure that it's flat and the same from the center to the out. So you don't want it to be thicker in the middle. Then that's it. And now I'm going to put it in a on convection bake for 375 uh, degrees. If you don't have convection bake, you can put it on bake. Just bake it for 10 extra minutes. I'm going to bake this for 12 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the oven. It's been 12 minutes. The house smells delicious. And there it is. You'll see that it's nice and crispy on the edges. Um, now this is the time, if you wanted to add raisins or any kind of berry, I would add it now and just kind of push it in and just leave it. I'm going to let this cool till it's room temperature and then I'm going to break it up and put it into a jar. So it's been a couple hours and this has completely cooled down and it is delicious. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it. You see it's solid, chunky here. And I'm just going to put it in a couple of these jars. And it's ready for, for anything you would use granola for, for cereal, for sprinkled on top of any dessert. I mean, it is absolutely delicious and crunchy and nutritious. Thanks for watching.